There was bloody pads laying up the top of my wardrobe. You got a fella that you want. Need some old school love. Wish you had a switch that you could hit. Let her know what you wear. You got a fella that you want. And I'm back with another banger for you lot. Yes, I am. I am back with another banger. Before I even start the video, a lot of you will realise that I haven't been posting much and I haven't been recording. It is because my ring light is currently broken at the moment. So I'm really just using natural light from like the outside to do my videos. Yeah, I'm literally doing this now and I feel like, you know, you guys have been missing me. So I got one for you today. Today I'm going to be doing the, my best friend stole my Jordan Horizons story time. This story time, yeah, is really hard for me to explain in it because this is why I do not fuck with female. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 before we even get into the video, if you haven't liked what's going on, if you haven't subscribed, what's going on? If you haven't shared the video, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, you're not of my class, yeah. But anyways, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, do whatever. Give the videos a thumbs up if you like the video. So, we're going to call this girl Jill because she loved having Jill in her bag. She is my ex-best friend, but... There's another best friend in the story, so I'm gonna call that one lip gloss. I'm gonna call that one lip gloss. Basically, I've known Jill since I was in year three. I moved to this um, new area in like Seven Sisters. Girl from then, me and Jill were really close. Oh yeah, there's another girl. I'm gonna call her Dark Skin. So me and Jill and Dark Skin, they were both one year older than me. I called them like those were my sisters. You get what I mean? Like, back in the day, everyone wanted to play out, so I'd knock on my door, let's play out. This is that, and I'd be like, yeah, why not? So, me and Jell and Dark Skin went everywhere together, but because Dark Skin has known Jell for longer, like, they've always had some issues. My area was mad, full of mad people, but it was lit, it was lit. So, um, I now move out of the area, but Jell and Dark Skin still live there. I haven't seen Dark Skin in ages, like, me and Dark Skin haven't seen each other in ages, but... Jell, I see her like sometimes not to move school as well because um like no one was gonna travel like travel to go to school so I had to move school I was all pissed off because I already had so much friends in my old school it's not even that I didn't have any friends but it's just like I'm not I don't like being moved to place to place you get what I mean so like I did year four year five there and in my in my other school I did year five year six there so let me explain the relationship between me and Jell yeah me and Joel, literally my sister, I called her sister. Let's let's she was mixed race, right? Joel's one of those children that will run away. Um, she doesn't respect her parents. So her mom was just fed up of her, like me and my mom. Everybody knew how Joel was. Like the whole area knew the relationship between Joel and her mum because she just not she's not respectful. She goes and does whatever she wants, she doesn't come back the time she wants. I wasn't like Joel, but I'm not that type of person to judge someone because of the way they anyways, yeah, so Jell, she used to come sleep at mine. Like in my old area, she used to come sleep at mine. Like we would go everywhere together. We never went to the same school, but she would just come sleep at mine. Like we'll go this. We'll, we love used to climb buildings. We love climbing buildings, so we used to just climb buildings and stuff. And then I moved up. So um now I think I was maybe in like year seven. And I still haven't seen or had any trace of dark skin. So it's like whatever. I've just moved on with life. So then one day, Jell must have hit me up on like what's it she must have hit me up on like um i think it was snap or instagram she was like Farrah, did i was like chill like it's been long like come see me da, da, da. she was like yeah where do you live now the time i gave her the addy she came and was like really cute and we had a good time like you know joe's just girl like then like year eight she's in year nine so obviously one day i had like an after school club in my secondary school and then I have one of my other friends called Elpida. She must have called me and she was like, Farrah, he's here. And, she, and I was like, who? And she was like, Joe. And I was like, what? Joe's here? And she was like, yeah, she's waiting for you. So I was like, cool, tell Joe. Tell her to just wait there. So Elpida told Joe and Joe was waiting for me. So then after school, I was just like, Joe, like, what are you doing? And she was like, fam, it's been long. This is like the start. So I was like, what? Are you trying to go home or what? And she was like, nah, fam, I'm trying to come with you. So I was like, say nothing. So we, went, we literally went home to my house. because My mom hasn't seen Joe and all of that. And my mom and Joe's mom were really close that like they were calm that like she understood the pain that she was going through with gel and stuff so my mom hasn't 
was in jail in time so my mom yeah the thing about my mom she's nice to everyone and after she must have came home all of that bear in mind she was in unit now yeah she was totally different like before she used to be like a tomboy a tomboy where she would wear her trainers she would wear her trainers and not wear any socks and she came with me then my mom asked does your mom know you're here and she's like oh no like da, 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 da. so my mom's like do you want me to call your mom and she was like, yeah. She was like, oh, far can I sleep over? I was like, yeah, you know you can sleep over. Like, it's been time. Like, why can't you sleep over and all of that? This girl was different. Like, she was in a jail. I knew. I knew all the time she was a troublemaker, yeah? But this jail was a thirsty jail for man. She was thirsty for man. She was thirsty for attention. Then, my mom called her mom. And she was like, wait, is Joe over there? Oh, my God. She was supposed to be here. Like, her mom was tired of her. So, she didn't even care like that. So, she stepped over at mine, innit? She didn't bring no clothes. She was just planning on seeing that school and sleeping over at mine what kind of person you're not gonna go back home to get clothes nothing like that all she was wearing was her school uniform in her bag instead of her carrying new panties or something like that she's carrying like you know those big the big tubs of gel not even like the, the one that's like two pound fifty like the medium one she had like the big one that was probably like six pound it was this big like i'm not even joking big tub of gel her um her pizza in her bag and um, a comb that's all she had in her bag she didn't have no books no nothing she didn't carry a phone because she was just she didn't have a phone because she kept on breaking it this like the next day no that day i gave her clothes to sleep bear mind you this girl was on her period right i don't care i'm saying everything right now this girl's on her period right cool she's on her period she carried around her pads next day now she has, still has no clothes to wear, so I'm, I'm giving her clothes. And me, I'm that type of person. I'm very stingy when it comes to my clothes. I did not buy clothes to come and give you. You have your own clothes. But because you're... If you're really close to me and I keep you warm in my heart, if you need something, I'm giving it to you. Like, if you're my best friend and, like, everything, you, know, you eat at man, you shit at man, I don't care, I shit at you, I eat at you. Take whatever you want, but ask me. I'm that type of person. I will not let nobody come into my house, steal this, steal that. I don't care if there's one panty, you need to ask, okay? Because I would never go to your house and take something, something that's yours and not ask you. I'm not disrespectful. My mom taught me right. Sorry. Anyways, the next day probably was Saturday. I didn't have a phone in it. I had a phone. So, because my mom's nice at that phone, you don't have a phone. So, you can use my phone, like, just to, like, stay in the house and go on Snapchat and stuff. I must have been doing some homework or whatever, whatever. Because she's a bad girl. She wasn't doing all of that. So, then she was like, fine, let's go, Eddie. And I was like, Eddie, to do what? She was like, I'm chatting to some guy. I'm not going to say the guy's name because, eh, he's a big singer. He's a big rapper now. In nine. Because she's like 14, isn't it? Because in year 9, you were like 14, I swear. 13, 14. This bloody 13, 14 year old, yeah, was talking to a big, big, big rapper. Yeah. That lives in Edmonton at the time. I don't even know if he still lives there. Hey, hey, I'm not involved. I'm not saying anything more. So, she was like, let's go do this. Let's go do that. So then, when I'm in Edmonton, I let her dress. She did up. She had her handbag everywhere, fam. Handbag everywhere. So, we're walking now. And if you guys have been to Edmonton Green, yeah. You guys will know that where the W8 goes, there's like two chicken and chip shops. There's one called Favourites and there's one called Texas Chicken or something like that. Texas or something like that. We're walking and then we hear a yo. Bro, even now that I've been big year 10, if I hear a yo, I'm running. What do you mean a yo? Who are you a yoing? And like, yeah, there was like some, so there was like some alleyway. And it wasn't dark, but you can't, like, they were saying ayo, but you can't see them. And in that alleyway, there's, like, two ways of getting out of the estate. There's only, like, that way and another way. So, someone was like, ayo. I kept, carried on walking. She stood there. I was like, Joe, what are you doing? Let's go. Can you not hear that? She's like, fireman, come, let's go. They're like, ayo, come here. What year are you in? But you can't see them. We don't know who, what they look like, nothing like that. Like, I'm looking straight at the place, and all I can hear is voices. I can't hear nothing else. So I was just there like, what? I was there like, nah fam, I'm not on this. Like, I'm not on this. Like, I'm not trying to get raped by these people. Like, you know how people are this day and generation. Like, you know how people are. She's like, fire, just come. I was like, no, I'm not just coming. Like, I'm not going. Like, I'm not going. I'm not going. And then she was like, fire, let's just go and see. I was like, no, I'm not on that. I'm not that type of person to go, you know, this ready. She's like, yeah, I know, blah, blah, blah. So I carried on walking. And then she was like, Far, let's link. Um, I need to link my man. And I was like, how old is your man? She's like, he's 20. 
I was like, I want to go home. I don't care if anyone tries to say I'm a bad person. Like, this girl, she's a troublemaker. Like, she's not going to link one man. She's not like that. And he's 20 years old. You think I'm going to stand there where he tries to do all of this, all of that? I'm not that type of girl. Like, listen, if I'm not with something, I'm not with it. Like, I don't care what is this. I don't care how it's done. I don't care this, that. I don't care that, that. Like, if I'm not with it, I'm not with it. I'm not that type of girl you can literally persuade to do something. Me, I'm very strict. If I say I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. If I don't want to go there, I don't want to go there. I'm not going to go just because somebody says, let's go by force. No way. So I was like, gel. Like, I need to go. I need to be home. She's like, no, I need to link him in Subway. So I was like, cool. Like, we stayed Subway for, like, I think we stayed Subway for, like, 10 minutes. I was like, he's definitely not coming, Joel. So let's just go. She's like, no, let me borrow your phone. I was like, I don't even have credit all day or so. What are we just sitting in Subway for? And I don't even look the best right now. So let's just go. So I'm staying here. She'll give me better attitude. I was like, cool. Remember, you're coming to my house, not the other day, not the other way around. And my mom sent me to, I think my mom also sent me to go get something. So I had to go get that thing before the shop closed. So I went to get that thing. I came back in Subway. She wasn't there. I don't have any phone to contact her. I went looking for her for a bit. I couldn't find her. So I was like, cool, I'm going home. Maybe she went, she went back to mine. I go home. Let's say it was like three, four. I go home. Why does this girl come back at six o'clock? This girl reaches my house at 6 o'clock. I thought she was going to leave. Like, I thought she was going to get her stuff and go, all right, I'm going. Because you know when you go to sleep over at someone's house unattended? Guys, no one even like understanding that I sat like there I and said unattended. Like so then this girl now, your mom going to, like, think that something's happening. She's like, no, you know, you know, you know that I'm here. So cool. So she stayed at mine for another day. So it's been like, she's been at mine for, like, two years now. She stayed at mine for another day. We were just in. We weren't doing much. We weren't doing much. You'd see what type of girl this girl is, yeah? She had a best friend as well. She only fucked with that best friend because she liked the girl's older brother. And her and the, the girl's older brother and her ended up having sex, did it? I was just like, wow. Like, I can see what type of person you are now. So then she was telling me how she went and she linked some boy and blocks, yeah? And he would, uh, no, she, she knew that there was going to be bare man them there because he sent a snap. But she still went and linked them on her own. It was like 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, in it? Because she's just one of them, like, she's a man ding-dong. She loves man. She can't say no when it comes to boys. She can't say no, but she she's just one of them that she's just a fighting, which she's a fighting girl when it comes to girls, but she's a man ding-dong when it comes to man. Period. That's it. And dark skin, dark skin, all know what I'm talking about, fam. So, then, it must have been a time where, no, not time. So then she must have been like telling me that oh like she went to link some boy and then all his friends wouldn't let her leave until one of them fingered her. So I was like, what? So you let them so you let them finger you? And they got it on camera as well. She showed me the video and all of that. So I was like, wow, that's sad for me. I was like, yeah, I couldn't mm, I was just like, oh my god, are you okay? And I was like, deep down, yeah, I was like, that's cause you let yourself get yourself into stupid situations like that. Like, how can you go and link man at nine o'clock? I don't care if he says he's gonna be on his ones. I'm not linking no one by myself unless you're my boyfriend, because then I know that you won't do stupid stuff like that. Like, boys of this generation are dumb. They'll say da -da 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 -da. They'll be there with their three friends. You have to ask all of them before they before you leave. Or oh, something like that. Like, that's not me. I'm, I will never get myself in that type of situation. It's now Sunday. I'm like, oh, God. You have to, like, your mom's going to be worried. And all of that. I was just saying that because I was tired of her being there. Like, she wasn't very clean. She's not a very clean girl. So my mom, my mom, yeah, I will forever remind her of this day because it's her fault that this probably even happened. So then my mom's bare like, oh, I was like, for one more, come on, Farah, you haven't seen her in so long. You know them ones where you give your mum the eye or the nostrils? Like, I was just like, oh. Like, I was giving her something. She wasn't listening. She was not listening, bruv. She's like, so then she's like, yes, auntie, can I stay for a bit longer? Yeah. I was thinking, don't you want to go get some of your clothes? Don't you want to go get some of your clothes? She's like, no, it's fine, because if I go home, then my mum's like, so her unit started at like around. I don't even know, like around 10 o'clock, something like that. Not 10 o'clock, yeah, something like 12, 10 o'clock. Like she never even went like that. So she was sleeping while I was leaving from school. So I'll be like, cutting, yeah? Da, 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 da. She'll still be there when I came back from school, all of that. I think it was a Wednesday. I cut and she also cut, but, but later than me. So I would have never known that my Jordans got stolen. Seeing her, like we haven't spoken, all of that. I asked her if she got home, like safe and all of that. The cheeks is like, yeah, I got home safe, safe, XX. 
thinking, say nothing. Then another day, I think it was like two weeks, three weeks later, I needed to go out with lip gloss. I think we were going Brent Cross or we were going near Brent Cross, something like that. So we were, it was hot. So she was wearing like a, like, I don't know, a jean satin, yeah. And I was wearing like a, like a dress in it. And I don't know. I don't know. I wanted, because normally the Jordans, yeah, they literally go with everything. So I wanted to wear my Jordan. Let me put it on the screen. These Jordans, like Jordan Horizons, these ones right here. Right here. This is the one she took. Lip gloss had to go out. So then, because me and Lip gloss lived in the same area, Lip gloss knocked on my door. And I was like, yeah, give me a second. She went and said hi to all my, to my mum and all of that. I was like, give me a second. Let me go look for my shoes. I, I'm that type of person, yeah? When I go to shower, in my head, I know what outfit I want to wear this day. I know what outfit with what shoes, yeah? So if I don't wear it, it's going to be like, why am I not wearing it? Because I know it's going to bang. That's just how I am. So I was wearing like this, this black jean jacket or something like that with like some grey dress and I wanted to wear my Jordans so then I, I went upstairs because my house back then was mad like oh yeah I had moved house so she had come to my other house now and then um so Jordans that I wanted to wear like there was literally only three places where shoes could be dangling upstairs in my room downstairs in like the corridor bit and in, in my sister's room so i looked everywhere and i was like where's my Jordans I can't find my Jordans so I asked my mom have you seen my Jordans she said no I asked my aunt Vicky if she had seen my Jordans, she looked at me. I was like, what? Why are you looking at me like that? She's like, don't be angry, yeah? She's such a snake. She's such a snake. She's like, don't be angry, yeah? So I was like, what do you mean don't be angry? Like, I was like, what do you mean? So I was like, I was on the train like a week ago, two weeks ago. And on the train, I was like, yeah, this is not explaining my Jordans. And she was like, as soon as she saw me, she covered her feet with her bag. So I was like, what do you mean? And then when, but I had already seen the Jordans. And then I looked at it and I was like, I swear those are, like, I swear that's far of Jordans. But she didn't want to say anything because she thought that I lended her the Jordans. I was so pissed. I was like, oh my gosh, she stole my Jordans. But blah, blah, lip gloss was like, calm down. Wear, like, wear other shoes. And then when you come back, we can sort it out. I was like, no, I can't believe it. Like that whole day, I was so pissed off. I was like, I'm going to text her. So then I must have, like, she must have not been on stuff and stuff. So I, when I got home, like, that whole day, I was so pissed off. I was like, how could she do that? I was so disappointed. I was like, if she had asked me, I would have let her, I would have lended her the Jordans. But you're here, you're already a man ding dong, you're not very clean, and now you're taking my shoes. Why would you do that? Do you get it? I was so pissed off. I didn't know, I didn't want to know why she did it. I just wanted to buck her and slap her in the face and take my shoes back. But then I was like, first of all, my, those shoes were like size five. I'm a size four, but they were calm because they were comfortable. So they were fitting. They fit. I'm a size four. She's like a size six or seven. So her already putting her big ass feet in my drawers. It's already ruined them. Like, I don't know what they look like. And she wasn't one to look to take care of shoes either. Like, you'll give her one shoe one month and you'll see that there's a hole in them the next two days. Like, I was just like, I was so pissed off. You'll never know what a female is capable of. I don't care what nobody has to say. You'll never know. So then after I got home from like me and Lip Gloss going out, Lip Gloss was like, send me her stuff, all of that. I was like, you know what? Let me send it. I sent it to her. I started texting her on Instagram. Girl, why are you still my shoes? Are you dumb? Because back then, yeah, I was rude and I had no filter. I was like, you're a disgusting girl. Bring me my shoes. She was like, what are you talking about? First, she lied about it. She was like, what are you talking about? I never stole your shoes. Then halfway in the conversation, she was like, oh, yeah, I stole your shoes. And what? I took them. And what? Lol, go buy yourself a new pair. I was like, you're so broke that you're stealing shoes from me. How can you do that? I was like, come and buck me, like, come buck me right now. So I'm not bucking you, this, that, this, that, this, that. I'm not bucking you. If you want to fight, you can fight. I was like, why am I going to fight you for my own shoe that you stole from me? Does that make sense? Did I steal the shoes off you or did you steal the shoes off me? Okay, then. She was like, she was chatting all that shit. I was like, listen, I don't want to hear your BS. You're done to me. Maybe 30 minutes after, she must have acted like someone else was typing on her account. It was like, oh, um, okay, shoes, buck me at, um, this is Gabby. Um, she didn't mean to do it. Buck me at this place, and I'll um I'll buy you new shoes for my money. I, I don't care about you. I don't care about those money. Like I don't need your money. Start right. of year nine or something like that. I texted her. I was just still. I was still really pissed off, you know. <laughs> so then after she must have been like, oh my god, you're still bragging about that. I was like, why are you even still watching my Instagram story? Like what? Why are you still watching my Instagram story? Like you're a weirdo. Like when I was back in my old house, I must have been looking for something. I don't know. When I'm tired of wearing something, I throw it like wardrobe. There's like some top bits. So I throw it there. I must have been looking for some some for something. Please tell me why there was pads laying up the blood. Oh my god, thinking about it, it makes me want to vomit. There was bloody pads laying up the top of my wardrobe. The way I almost vomited.
the way I actually almost vomited, I was like, wow. So this girl was here throwing pads up my wardrobe, her bloody pads. No wonder there was never pads in the, um, like, I had two bathrooms. You could have put it in the bin in a bathroom if you're literally so, um, you know, embarrassed to go put your, your pads in the bin. Wrap it up in tissue. Like, do you not have any manners? Do you get what I mean? I was like, wow, this is how you know it wasn't meant to be. And then from now, never seen her ever since. And I must have seen her. I must have seen, I must have been watching one of Ronzo's, um, if you know who Ronzo is, everybody knows who Ronzo is. I must have been watching one of Ronzo's, um, YouTube videos, and then she was in it. And he must have asked, I think one of them must have asked, who would you do this, who would you do that to? And then she was better like, I'll do it to this guy because i already done it. And I was like, wait, is that, is that, is that gel? And I was just like, I posted my story, and I was like, ew, dark skin, look at this, look at this, man, look at this nasty girl. What she knows how to do is open her pimp for man. That's all she, that's what all she knows how to do. I don't care. That's what all she knows how to do. <sighs> I've seen dark skin, like, me and dark skin are like, me and, um, what's it, me and the boss don't chat anymore. But I haven't seen gel in forever, to be fair. But yeah, so that was the story time where my best friend stole my Jordan Horizons. You guys have to be very careful when it comes to these females, you know. They're really disgusting and they don't do they don't care. They don't care about it as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that story time. I'm sorry that I haven't been active but yes that is literally it. Thumbs up you know if you want another story time let me know in the comments comment down below on the story time comment because at this point I've had it this is not no fake story time. This is a real story time. This really, really happened. Yeah, but anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See my next video. Bye. You got a fella that you want. Need some old school love. Wish you had a switch that you could hit. Let her know what you with. You got a fella that you want.